Boy, do I have a video for you guys. I had made a video about how people on YouTube e-bag, and this goes to a whole new level. And I wasn't going to make this, but YouTube suggested this to me, and I kept watching it, and I kept going down the rabbit hole. And if you really want to protect yourself from being scamming, you really want to watch this to the end to see how this is going, how this is turning out. Now, there's one person referred to as um, Tucker Live Radio. There's another person referred to as Adventure Unknown. And there's another person referred to as Stellar. Now, what happened in this situation is just wild. You see, this guy called Tucker Live Radio, he was considered like the Mr. Dress-Up of YouTube. I mean, kind, considerate. He had had that loving, caring face, and a lot of people trusted him. And over a period of a year, a lot of donations, um, just all kinds of craziness going on. So what's happened here, and this guy named Adventure Unknown apparently brought this out to everybody's attention, when this other guy named Stellar uploaded a video. Now, Stellar uploaded a video saying, um, Tucker Live Radio had borrowed 4900 from me. And he's never paid me back. And it was apparently supposed to be a loan. Now, Stellar up uploaded documents, I mean, emails, I mean, just crazy back and forth. And through these documents, Tucker Live Radio kept asking for more and more money. Until finally Stellar cut it off. Now, a lot of people, and even Tucker has said this, um... He says, hey, it's none of anybody's business. This is between me and Stellar. This has nothing to do with anybody. It's a personal loan between the two of us. Whether I pay or don't pay, it's none of anybody's business. He has a good point there. Tell me what you think in the comments below. And I'll give you my point of view at the end of this video. But when it ended up happening, they had done some type of, I guess you would call it a hate donation. They were literally trying to get people to donate, saying, we dislike this certain person, and people were donating like crazy. Well, they ended up having all this money, and then they said, well, what do you want us to do with it? And at least Tucker Live Radio said, what do you want me to do with it? And everybody said, well, donate it to St. Jude's, you know, the, the kids' hospital. And nobody believes he donated it. Everybody believes he kept it. And apparently he has a sidekick in crime called uh, Trish the Dish or something like that on YouTube. And she needed a new roof and all of a sudden she's dropped off of YouTube. She doesn't go on Hangouts. She doesn't. She's even made all her videos hidden or deleted them, one or the other. A lot of people are also saying that um, Tucker Life Video and Dish to Trish are in on it. Nobody knows. There's a lot of unanswered questions. You've even got some people uploading videos and saying, here, and they recorded their screen, here's what happens when you actually donate to the children's hospital. And it gives you an ID number, the receipt number. I mean, it gives you proof that you donated. But this guy, Tucker Live Radio, doesn't want to show anything. He did end up on a live hangout, and he started off his conversation with, it does not matter what I say because everything can be doctored, from PayPal receipts to, to even the, you know, the number. And people said, well, look, if you want, we'll get two people, we'll go into a three-way, and you call the hospital and you verify you donated them. And we will simply make a video saying yes or no. We will not give any other information. And he declined. He does not even want to do that. So this guy, Adventure Unknown, is dogging Tucker. He's dogging Tucker hard. He keeps asking him, where did the money go for uh, St. Jude's Hospital? Where did the money go? Show us the money. Now, Tucker Live Radio is originally from Canada. He's not from the USA. So the laws do not apply to him of USA. There's no such thing as a felony in Canada. Okay. 
So, and then you'll hear some people say, well, what about taxes? Doesn't he have to claim taxes? I mean, I'm telling you, the laws in Canada are very, very laid back. They're not as strict as what they are in the USA. So, is this guy, Tucker Live, ever going to show people that he actually donated the money to St. Jude's? Nobody knows. And right now it's looking more and more like he's not. So if he doesn't, it looks like he scammed everybody. And it's just another way of e-begging on YouTube. Now, if you haven't seen my e-begging video, go watch it. Um, but this is another way of doing it. And literally, you run these hangouts and you make people become your friends. They just love you to death. You're there all the time. A lot of these people that are in hangouts want to have a friend. They want to belong someplace. And he provided that. But did he also take advantage of it? I even seen some people that were crying. I mean, they were literally crying, saying, Tucker, please show the proof. Please. I don't want to believe this of you. I mean, they are so in denial. It's just unbelievable. And the guy even went as far as... I mean, there's, there's other people on Tucker Live that even with all this information that um, this guy Stella showed, they still believe in Tucker. They're still like, no, I can't. I, got, I, I, I can't believe he did such a horrible thing. I mean, to really prove that he donated to St. Jude's is as easy as two seconds. It really is. He could have took a screenshot of the number he was granted, which is also a tax write-off. He could have filled out for the tax write-off. Canada has special forms for that. He could have went into a three-way call and proved it to these people and said, here you go. He could have been transparent. But he's not being transparent at all in anything he does. Instead, what this guy, uh, Tucker Live Whitty, has done is he has turned around and said, well, we've left it to the law. And that would be fine if you were in the USA, but I don't believe he's left anything to the law in Canada. That's just a way of him getting out answering questions to other people. Because now all he's got to do is sit back and tell these people, well, there's no reason for us to do a three-way call. There's no reason for us to show you the number. There's no reason for us to do anything because the law is taking care of it. I'll bet very much it's not. Now, this guy Tucker Live had put up a thing of PayPal on this guy Stellar doing a $800 return. I guess he gave him 500 bucks and it converts to 800 Canadian or 800 American. 500 to 800. Came up to $800 USD anyways. And he did a refund in PayPal. And he acted like it was a horrible thing. He said, check the notes. Check the notes. Yeah, I read the notes when I seen it. He apparently donated that money to uh, Tucker Live Radio, so I guess he could get a dog. I guess something had happened to his dog. And he had donated this money in case he ever decided to buy another dog. And it kind of made me scratch my head, and he was acting like this guy, Stellar, was evil. And I was like, well, the guy lent you $4,900. You haven't even made one payment. He's probably not going to get all his money back at all. And that last donation was just something out of the goodness of his heart, and he still with, was within the time period of PayPal to do a refund, which you have up to, up to six months. And he was probably trying to recoup, recoup his losses. I mean, this guy Stellar seems like he was being a very, very, he had a lot of generosity toward this guy. And there is video and video and video me and made of this guy. He had a Patreon he's apparently closed down, which expires in a month. It's like he's backpedaling every way he goes. So here's another example of how people are twisting. When money is the root of all evil, don't get into this group and feel like you're part of something and everybody's yelling, yeah, let's donate to St. Jude's. You know, let's donate to some child that's dying of cancer. Don't get into this. As soon as somebody asks you for money of any shape or form, put your hand on their wallet and lock it. 
If you want to give to St. Jude's or you want to give to any place, do it yourself. Don't give it to some private individual. And don't fall for it when they pull you into a live chat saying, I need money, or even when they indirectly ask. And they say, oh man, I, I wish I had some money. I ran out of food today. But it'll be a rough couple of days. Now, they didn't ask you directly. What they did was they put the bug in your head to see if you wanted to be generous. Don't fall for that. They are indirectly begging from you. There are so many different levels to begging on YouTube, it's ridiculous. The only thing that'll keep you safe is just don't give your money. Period. Put it in your own pocket. But when I seen this and I started researching this and I started digging deeper and deeper and deeper, I was just amazed. Now, the backstory with Adventure Unknown and Tucker Live, they were friends for two years. Apparently, these guys used to go around trolling like crazy. And they used to troll e-beggars a lot. Then something happened between these two. They fell apart. And the next thing you know it, Tucker Live was over there e-begging left, right, and center. Send money for this. Donate for that. Oh, let's hate on this guy. Send me some money to piss this guy off. I mean, it was every scam on every level you could believe, and the people walked right into it and fell into it. And they're angry. Oh, there's a lot of people angry, and they are angry in many communities, from drama community to prepper community to the makeup community. I mean, it is crazy how many people gave this guy money. And now they are kicking themselves in the ass. And I think they're more hurt that he pulled the wool over their eyes, and they fell for it. Because nobody likes to be scammed. And nobody wants to believe they were a sucker. A lot of times what happens with a lot of scams that go on, um, people will get scammed and they don't want anybody knowing about it because they know they basically fucked up. And to save face, they just try to ignore it and say, I made a mistake, let's make it go away. And that's the wrong thing to do. You know, if you have donated to this Tucker Live guy, you have six months to hit refund in PayPal. So consider that. You have the choice. To, I don't care if it's a dollar. I don't care if it's 50 cents. I don't care if it's $20. Some people donated $300, $500. Get your butts in PayPal and hit refund. Because the money obviously has not gone to sick children in any shape or form. And everybody believes, um, apparently, he has made $24,300 in the last five months under different situations of different begging, different donating, um, different scenarios. $24,000. You know, people fall for the whole idea of being a fan of somebody. And then when they're a fan of somebody, they will part with the hard-earned money very quickly. YouTube has definitely turned into a whole new ball game. Now, I'm sure once you, if you are one of those people, have been ripped off like this, you have learned your lesson. But for the people that happen to find this video, just maybe, just maybe, I just prevented one person from parting on his money and being scammed by somebody. When somebody asks you for money, put your hands on that wallet and lock it. Don't fall for this trickery. And that's what it is. It's trickery to get your money. Anyhow, there is definitely a lot going on with Tucker Live Radio in Canada. Adventure Unknown doesn't seem to be letting him go. And uh, Stellar seems to be out 4900 And we've got hundreds, if not thousands, of other people out of money all over YouTube thinking they were helping kids at St. Jude's Hospital. This whole thing, in my view, is really despicable, and I'm just really disgusted by it, that stuff like this goes on. But it does. And only you can protect yourself. And anybody that still maintains this guy's channel and he won't actually come forth and say, look, here's the receipt, or go three-way, or something, and you're still subscribed to a guy like this, if you really are, then what's that make you? 
I mean, because after all, we decide who does well on YouTube and who doesn't. We decide who has the subscribers, who has the views. We decide that. We the people. Well, if we are rewarding scammers with those views and with those subscribers, then we're the blame. At any rate, guys, keep your hands on your wallet and watch out because the scammers are all over YouTube. Catch you later.